stole my bit. What's up, everybody? This is the Communication Breakdown. I am your host, Sad Boy Shinobi. With me, as always, my motherfucking best friend, my co-host, my goddamn partner in crime for life, Guyver with a three. G-U-Y-V-3-R. That yep. is me. What's up, everybody? Yep. Hope everyone's having a dope-ass day. Um, this is episode 11 of the Communication Breakdown, and today we have extra super-duper special guests uh, one being Mr. P. Fresh in the motherfucking Ooh. building. Yo, what's good? It's your boy P. Fresh. Shout out Animal Gun. Shout out Intoxication Conversation. Mm-hmm. Genesis fam. Absolutely, man. Um, and also we Can have I, Mr. Icarus four eight zero zero zero. This out, is uh, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the first collaboration um, that we've ever done. So communication breakdown does meet intoxication conversation today. So it's going to be a fucking dope, dope episode. Um, everything's going to be cool, man. You know, do you have a grinder? Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Go on. <clears throat> um, yeah, here. Uh, you want this right here? Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, I can do it while you're fucking tomorrow we have our episode d- dropping with John and Tanner. So that's going to be fun. Even though that's irrelevant that I just said that now because John and Tanner's episode will drop away before you guys hear this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm already a little high. So no, that's for the live anyways. streamers right now. Yeah, that's for the live streamers. Oh, that is true. Yeah. yeah. Um, John Rosemont and Tanner Swift, a.k.a. Judas, um, will be dropping that episode tomorrow. So if you have YouTube, um, I am sure if you guys are Icarus fans, you have got to have a fucking YouTube. <laughs> Um, you guys can find me at Sad Boy S A D B O I Space Shinobi on YouTube. Um, you'll have a I'll have a stupid fucking face with a beard that's uh, very unkept. <laughs> you'll know it's me. Manly. Yeah. It so, looks like you. Um, again, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, even more so than last time and our last guest. We know that that drive uh, is a motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Glad you yeah. be here, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm really here. happy that this worked out. You know, when you have four people. Four dudes who like to party, trying to work something out on a Sunday morning. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, it's always a Coming little down, yeah. Kind of shit. <laughs> Saturday night was like last night, dude. Yeah, dude, oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I was up, or I was uh, yeah, I was awake like eight hours ago, drunk. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. no, same. I was walking around mill trying to pick up women, had no success. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, no success. Last night, no. Yeah. Hey, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Stay, Anderson. Uh, Stay optimistic, man. All you gotta do, yeah. All you did was just learn. Hey, but yeah. you know what? I will say. Mistakes. I will say, we kind of we kind of went over this before last episode a little bit. I'm gonna touch on it real quick. Alcohol kills your game, man. No, it, it makes you feel more confident, but that's fake drunk. confidence. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was just a it's jackass, like, bro. Yeah. I was just like, hey, stop with your name. Can I buy you a drink? Like, <laughs> <laughs> is that like, the what move? are you drinking tonight? Huh? Is that your move? It's like, oh, where are you from? Oh, that's cool. You just student from ASU or something? I've like, got over twenty thousand <laughs> followers. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm famous on YouTube, dude. Like, I get lots of views, dude. Look you, right. you ever fucked a YouTube star, <laughs> <laughs> loser? <laughs> Yo, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best pickup one. Yeah. Oh, dude, um, so last yeah, night, uh, last night Fucking we did we, we did a little shindig slash um, music video type thing for my man Guyver next to me here. Um, me. Had his show last night. Fucking killed it. He started off rough. I'm started not gonna rough. lie. Way too high. Yeah, real Way high. Too high. <laughs> dude, we. I, oh my god, I was. Stupid high Yo, someone after we that. got way more high after you left. Oh, we went to the God. parking lot and smoked like four more joints. Hey, I'm not gonna say it was you. Me. But someone brought Sativa to the fucking party, dog. That Honestly, was not me. I think it might have been me. Really? Um, be, well, because I went to a dispensary. All right, I went. Shout out to Swell. I went to Swell Dispensary in their home of the five dollar pre rolls. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, it's my music video. Uh, I'm gonna go get. <laughs> I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go get twenty dollars worth of pre rolls, and I did. But obviously, it was a house blend, and it must have been Sativa dominant. Yeah. Because yeah. we were fucked, yeah. and we're uh, he's more sensitive than I am, but I'm more cognitive now that he's told me what the signs are. I thought I was just mm-hmm. being a bitch, but I didn't know like, oh, if you smoke sativa, these are things that can happen. Yeah, and it's like hyper paranoia like, and increased heart rate. Yep, and <laughs> sometimes you need that if you're like you're down in the dumps. But I need indica, he needs indica, and yeah, we yeah. were fucked. It, sativa does not go well when you have ADD. You know, yeah, it's not for me. Like I don't. 
we we kind of touch on this too, man. Like that's the reason why I would never ever ever try coke. It's just like I yeah. don't even want to smoke sativa joints. <laughs> like yeah. I don't want I anything don't want that makes me feel. Up. No, but here's the fucked up thing though. Last <clears throat> night uh, I'm coming off a three hours of sleep right now currently. You? Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you the story, dude. So check us out. I got home last night at about what? What was it like? One o'clock maybe? Like one one thirty. About one one thirty. Um. Fucking just kicked it right. Just took my clothes off, got my bed, put on the OA. Shout out OA on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, you're sleeping. Oh, uh, is that is that the uh, have the chick from the office in there? Uh, yeah, but Joey, if you have had a psychedelic experience before, that fucking show, dude. Have you got to? I I saw the last the last episode. It confused the shit out of me, bro. You know what I'm talking about, but yeah. It was no, the, I haven't finished this oh, okay, first season. Never. So is this that, a Netflix thing? Yeah, dude. Okay. It is incredible. It's called what? Again? The OA. The OA. Do you, you, you want to pop your phone Let's over there real fast? The OC. What's up? Do you want to pop your phone over there it's real like fast? It's like a it's like a fucking mixture between um it's like a mixture between people's experience with DMT in real life mixed with science fiction. Like Is it really about it's, DMT? It's too similar. Some of the stuff that they reference in that show is too similar yeah. to like some of the experiences I've read about or like whatever. psychedelic experience. It's fucking crazy, man. But anyways, shout out away. Whoever the fuck made that show, man. Like, thank you. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. Dude, so no, I want to watch it. Good. That's for you guys. No, that's for you oh, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Cool. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So new lit, thing, man. new thing, communication breakdown. Guests get their own pipe get starting today. We get our own pipe. We should have brought our own. I no, like, it's, it's okay. Like the, you're you're our know. guest. You're yeah. traveling. Oh, yeah. we, I wanted to show we're you prepared. My new pipe. It's like a little elephant. I call him Dante Elefante. It's really uh, cool. Dante <laughs> okay. Elefante. Yeah. That's so funny. There's I love a guy Dante, Dante Elefante. Elefante. Yep. Really check them out. Really what cool. kind of music are? What kind of like band? Really is indie type. A little closer. A little closer to the mic. Oh, young, my bad. Young. My bad. It's okay. Shit. It's okay. Scoot your chair in a little bit if you want to get. Make sure you can kind of lean back and still be a little close. You know. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Perfect, dude. And then the the um. This swivels, but the camera. So just be careful. Okay, I mean, for sure, for yeah. sure. I'll just... But uh, so anyways, I watched the OA. Um, Try to go to sleep, man. But I had the worst fucking headache before I got home. Because the sativa, man. I, I know it's the sativa. See, I, um, I, I prefer sativa as opposed to indica. I hate indica. <sighs> well, then... You're gonna hate this podcast. Oh. Yeah, no, like, I don't hate indica. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but like, like the only thing indica. I don't like is that all the weed I get is indica, and I can't fucking wake and bake, bro. I'll wake and just go right back to fucking sleep. It just knocks me on my well, ass. Yeah, or I have a sativa, I've, make I've it like a cup of that, coffee or like, something. You know I've been I mean? having the same the same thing. Like I'll pass out in the middle of the I'll pass out in the middle of the day and shit. You know what I mean? I'll be like, I'm like fucked up my whole day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm like fuck. That, but, that's that's been the. I've done that before. It's been too. the norm like for for a while. Ever since I got the, like this new stuff from my dude and just, you know what I mean? But like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like KO. I'm, yeah. Mm. And th- for me with Indica, I it's not necessarily that it doesn't make me tired cuz it does. Yeah. But yeah. again, the side effects of Indica over Sativa mm-hmm. for me are better. And also, I've been doing so much stuff lately. When I was like I didn't have a job and I wasn't doing shit, I smoked Indica. I'd pass the fuck out yeah. and I wouldn't care. And I wake up at like eight, but now I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so fucking busy that like when I smoke, I'm like, Oh, I got to do some shit. So it, for me, it helps because again, I have like ADD if that exists. Yeah. And when it comes to the I'm like, I have that what the too, fuck dude. am I doing, dude? But Indigo, I'm like, let's go, let's yeah. go. I may it, forget things, but I'm, I'm like, it, let's go. And I think I'm at an advantage too. Cause like n- I can't take naps during the day. Period. I've been that way since I was young. So yeah. maybe that's um, why we're brothers. But there's a yeah, there's a lot of indicas that won't make me tired. More relaxed. Like there's like the KO shit. Like you're talking about that legit will put you to sleep. Taking like when you dirt. smoke it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then there's a uh, there's indicas out there that are you know created to treat different things and like um, sometimes sleep isn't one of them. And those are the indicas that I love the most. Like, yeah. yeah. Um. Today in this blunt, we'll we'll get to this here. You know pretty soon yes um but we got from the uh phoenix relief center shout out um it is uh, oh sfv dog so and san fernando san that, fernando valley og yeah. mixed and with chem dog you've got that's fucking nuts mixed in their nirvana center shout out nirvana center tangerine kush mm. which again 
besides Agent Orange, is my favorite strain so far. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yep. I got a Tangerine Dream at my house. So Fire. we might have to hit up that. A also, later. in the pipes from Swell Pharmacy, um, if you guys uh, have your cards or if you haven't been there for a while, um, I went to Swell my first time and they, they give you a free gram. And they just went through a new system update or something and you're a new patient again, even if you've been there before. So, so you got a free gram? Yeah, I got a free gram yesterday. That's fucking uh, sick, dude. Smoking that Bubba OG. Uh, it's an indica. That's what's in your guys' pipes right now. Nice. Sweet. I love it. It's delicious. Yeah, it tastes amazing. What? The aliens okay. are here, bro. <laughs> yeah. So what did you guys do last night? Me? just I went, well, it, my for me personally, my night was really weird. Um, I went to work, got drunk at work, and then oh, sh- left, and... <laughs> Uh, I left with my coworker. His name is Billy. You Just got like, drunk at work? Yeah. Where do you work? Uh, at a call what? center. You nope. got drunk over there? We don't talk about where we work. Not like where, but like... <laughs> don't incriminate do yourself, do? please. Yes. <laughs> Not okay. on this podcast. So you got drunk at a call center. I think yeah. this is okay. And then, is okay. And then uh, yeah, so then I was leaving. When <laughs> I went to leave, and my, uh, my coworker, Billy, is like, yeah, let's hang out, dude. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I've never hung out with this guy. I want to you know, talk to him at work. So then he comes over and I, we proceed to get drunk as shit. And then he like starts freaking out about the fact he lost his keys. And then like I'm just in there. And then I, was, we, I walked into the light rail and I just was like, fuck it. I got my idea. I'm just going to go chill. No. Drunk as shit. Ran into this kid I fucked with. Like, fucked with, like oh, I was say, <laughs> this kid drunk. <laughs> yeah, this kid I fucked. <laughs> no, this kid I fucked with back in the day. And I saw him. He was drunk as shit. And then he was like, oh, like hanging out with me. And I was like, man, I really don't want to fucking hang out with this dude. <laughs> So I was like, he was like passing out on the ground. I was like, all right, fuck this. And just like walked just off. Passing out on the yeah, ground. Yeah, dude, he was like falling all over himself and shit. Oh my like God. cops on horses are walking by and shit. What and I'm like, show. yeah, fuck this. Dude. And he like yeah. passed out. I was like, all right, see you later. And just like, well, <laughs> okay. You're, you're way too it. nice of a person, man. Honestly. I am. Because nice I would have just been like, too. if you don't get away from me, dude, I swear I'm going to throw you in this fucking lake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't when, when people are, that are around me are weird and shit and I don't like it it's like I was just trying to see if he's drunk enough to buy me a beer <laughs> <laughs> okay hey, fair enough man fair enough I so you it. see my, my mind doesn't go there because I don't drink too often but I respect that alcoholics respect are always that. at least in my mind constantly being like how can I just I get, get a drink beer. real fast yeah. I don't even need like 20 I just want <laughs> one <laughs> and dude check this out this is a weird story um, I don't know if I told this on the fucking podcast yet but I was on a light rail and I was getting off of it and I had my headphones on and I took them off for just like a split second. And within that split second, this random stranger came up to me and was like, dude, check out this fucking album, man. Isn't this <laughs> awesome? Isn't this beautiful? And he's holding up a vintage record and it's called uh, Propagandi. That's a band. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's, a, it's, it's an old trio uh, punk band. And like what stood out to me is they have like, Songs called like I'm gonna burn your fucking flag and like uh, oh, Ska's fuck. dead and shit like that. Like there's a bunch of crazy things and it basically looked like the fucking ska punk punk version of Blink. Yeah. And I was like, all right, man, that's what's up. That's what's up. Let me write that down. It sounds like a cool thing. And he was like, man, dude, you want a beer? You want you want to go talk about music? I'm what? like, okay, because we were. I live across the street from a fucking bar. Yeah. Like, it's a shitty hole in the wall, but it's a bar. And he's like, dude, let's go. I'm like, fuck it, dude. Let's go. And I got a beer with a random stranger. <laughs> talked about punk, and then I fucking left. <laughs> that's, pretty that's, fucking cool. awesome, that's pretty cool. That's fucking tight, dude. But that's pretty cool. You gotta be you gotta be tolerable. He was wasted. And mm. but you gotta understand, like, I understand people be be stupid. I understand no. people be drunk. I have a very, very high tolerance for drunk people. Mm-hmm. He has zero. <laughs> Breaking edge did not hear that <laughs> i still feel the same i still hate you drugs Look, no, it's, it's nothing <laughs> it's, so here's the thing though i, I just want to make sure that i separate my opinion so i don't sound like a fucking asshole he's an asshole so like <laughs> i i don't care if you're a a drunk or an alcoholic but yeah, if you can't handle your shit don't fucking drink that much you know what I mean? Yeah, I like, see what you're saying. Like, if you're gonna get some, oh, I'm so sorry. If you're gonna get someone else in trouble because you can't handle your shit, not yeah, that, yeah. not that you're drinking, oh, mm-hmm. but that you can't handle it, that you can't like just take control at least a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I can't do because then people start like their respect filter goes away fast. Exactly. She you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and like their level of caring is Pissing gone. Pissing in public. Like, yeah. <laughs> dog, I've pissed Pissing in public. Pissing in public, yes, Dude, exactly. Dude, it is, uh, 
it has gotten me in almost so much trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> sex offender status trouble. <laughs> God damn. Dude, I would be some I've, fucking shit. That's one of my biggest dude, fears. I feel bro. that's gonna happen to me, man, I, and it scares me. Bro, I, you just listen, got me so much listen, in public. I don't give a fuck what you're what's happening. If you see those lights come on yep. and you're you pissing in public, run, you, you run, run like, for your life. Exactly. Run forest, run. Because if you get caught, you're a sex offender. And if a cop is having anything less than an amazing day, he's going to fucking he's charge gonna you. ruin your fucking life. Exactly. Yeah. You run Shoot for your me, life. Dude. You might have to kill me because I'm not, I'm not getting in there as a sex offender, Fuck bro. Yeah. You, might, you might have to just go ahead and take me all the way out. There have been some times. Okay, so let's just say this. I drink a lot. <laughs> I drink, yes. Yes. When is, uh, Sorry. When is like, the, like the absolute, like, I think I'm going to fucking piss my goddamn self at a bar, at a party, yeah. but like somewhere where you were like, I'm not going to fucking make it, dude. Like, I'm so scared that this is it. This is where I pee myself in front of all my friends. <laughs> God damn it. Y'all got a story? Y'all, y'all, uh, y'all have off the top of your head? Maybe it was last night? Probably just like it's been drinking definitely at a bar, but like when it's fucking packed, right? Oh. And you're like trying to like maneuver through people. And That's you're fucked you up. So, yeah, so yeah. many times. And then you go to the fucking bathroom, and there's like four dudes at the urinal. You're just sitting there, and your dick's twitching, and you're like, Ugh. Actually, actually, one time I was on Mill, and uh, we were going to Spinelli's. I was with a couple of friends. Can you and, just um, tilt your mic like you can adjust it? There you go. And then turn it. No, hold on. I just want to make sure Quick it's pause, easier pause. for you to yeah. talk yeah. fast. You know, I got you, friends. You know I got you, baby girl. Hell yeah. Hey. Baby squirrel. Hell yeah. And then, you know what I'm saying, Bo. Anywho, I fucking pissed this myself, way. dude. I you pissed it. yourself in Spinelli's? No, no, no. This is what happened. We were going to go to Spinelli's to get, like, something to eat. But we were drunk. <laughs> we were drunk. We were really drunk. And I was just like, all right, hold on. I'm going to use the restroom. And I seen that there's already a line. So I was going to go around the corner. You know, like, around the corner. There you go, dude. And then there's just somebody's van. And I was just like, yo, I'm fucking, I'm way too fucking drunk. I don't even remember what I was going to do. And then, like, before I know it, I start throwing up. Oh, no. oh my I'm like, God. I'm like, oh, and there's, like, people walking. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. Because people are, like, looking at me and shit. They're like, are you okay? I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. And I totally Good forget. God. I totally forget that I needed to take a piss. And I took a piss. And I was like, what? The? I was like, fuck. And I was like, so you puked you're just all over yourself? And, yeah. and you pissed yourself like an eight-year-old yeah. child? And then I walked into Spinelli's. <laughs> Yeah, and then I walked into Spinelli's, and got a slice, slice. And, then, yeah, and I was just like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh hold on. I, I can't let you just sneak that in there. You oh threw up, God. pissed on yourself. Yes. Then got pizza? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I was shit. like so drunk to the point where I was in the zone where like it what didn't matter. Fuck? Like... How? Oh my fucking god! The only logic I had was. So you were sitting there coming and piss and puke? And yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, let me get, I didn't, let me like get an extra pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yo, did you have like little chunks on your sweater? No! Did you, did you no, put a no. napkin over so you didn't get pizza all over your nice shirt? No. You fucking die. Okay, like there was this van right there. That's what I threw up on. I threw up all over <laughs> oh the van. Oh my god. Just kidding, bro. And like, I was just like. <laughs> And I couldn't, like, like that's why people are, like, looking. They're like, dude, this guy's, like... And then they're like, is that your car? And I'm all like, it's okay. It's my car, man. Like, and I'm fucking like... all lying. Yeah, I was nah, so it's my car, I was like, it's my car. Bro. And then fucking... I was I all like, fuck. Breathe, it was like, I was pushing the puke out so hard that I just pissed myself. And I was like... I was pissed drunk and fucking... I was fucking... And then, yeah, I was just like, fuck it. I was so like, you went back covered in piss? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I, thought, I, I thought you got pizza, like then the all that happened, but no. Like, dude, you can't hide, you can't hide a, 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 you pissed yourself. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, like, were you wearing black pants? Yeah, well, yeah, I was wearing, I was wearing shorts, so it didn't, you couldn't see, you know what I mean? So I was just like. <laughs> Did you get all in your socks and shit? It was weird, no, do no, this no, I, don't I don't really remember, I just remember I just was like, fuck it, and then like. <laughs> 
I woke up and I was like, damn, I did piss myself, dude. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I was, I was Yo, that I've been, trashed and I've shit. I've been pretty faded, but I've never been anywhere near that close. To That's that yeah. fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like, that was like one of my first times on Mill. And yep. Holy shit, dog. And shit got real. Yeah, no, it was I on the house, you know myself. what I mean? So, you know what oh, I mean? I, know, I, I didn't have a limit. So I think uh, I think P Fresh fucking did a live stream after uh-huh. a night you guys partied and you guys were supposed to do something and you're like, yo, wake up, wake up. And oh. you pissed yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, what? Was like, this was like five months ago, yourself? probably. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what you happened? pissed yourself, son. Uh, but he came over to your house because I guess you guys were supposed to do something together. Yes, yes, we were. And then uh, you were like kind of like waking up a little bit and... And I was telling him like, tell Joey to wake up, dude. Like this was on a, like inst- like Instagram on his yeah, live Facebook stream. live feed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And he was like, yo, Joey, wake up, dude, wake up. And you're like, uh. And then you kind of like rolled over, <laughs> or, like the blanket <laughs> fell off you, and you like pissed yourself. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you don't remember? I don't that? remember this oh at all. I have no idea what you guys thing, are talking. Yeah. yeah. And then and then you were saying that you didn't wake up till like seven o'clock that night. Yeah. yeah. Was that so, and I was just pissed drunk. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's interesting. Hey, well, uh, one of those nights, man. You know, sounds like a normal. Like, Monday. <laughs> like literally you you were live streaming in the morning and then you told me to come over. I came over as soon as I could that afternoon and you were fucking already doing Was that that time I took all that acid? I don't know. You said you and your roommate were drinking. Uh, you and your roommate were drinking like 40s in the morning, dude, or some shit. No, but that happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, uh, and then that's you're called like, brunch, bitch. <laughs> like, dude, Preston, come over. We'll stream. I was like, all right, dude, I'll be there as soon as I can. Got there around 2, like 2 to 130 at the most and you were fucking ready how long ago is this I don't know. months ago yeah. Yeah. yeah no i'm not gonna remember any, I'm no gonna i think i think this too. was what your your quote-unquote dark place that you yeah. just recently got out of yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hey, yeah, dude. hey, it's lit, dude. It's lit, You want to you want to briefly touch on yeah. it, dude? Um, yeah. Hey, well, no, what, was there any like bit. was there any like one thing that kind of was like oh okay okay because I know it can do that, man. Yeah. You can you can have moments where it's like, I don't want to be like that anymore. No, so I'm like, gonna not be like that. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. I just like yeah. really I owe it to mushrooms. Uh, mm-hmm. I was tripping on mushrooms and. Uh, I was starting to think about like the fact of like how shitty my fucking life is. Like, I was b- I'm broke, no job, no job because I was drunk all the time. Right. I lost my other job because I was drunk, and like I was like so upset about like my place in life. I drank mm-hmm. and just kept drinking, kept drinking like every fucking day, just yeah. pounding, pounding, pounding. <clears throat> drunk every day, I and mean, then uh, I don't know, and then just kind of realized that on mushrooms, and I was like, yeah, this is fucked up, like. I'm gonna st- like I'm gonna quit cold turkey, you know what I mean? Right. So I quit cold turkey and I did I did pretty good, and then I don't know shit just kind of like I had a beer to celebrate, you know. Right. Now I'm a social drinker, like I'll, right. I'll have a beer every now and then. You, friends, you have control. Exactly. Right. I, I That's have the most much, important much more part. control than mm-hmm. I did before. So now I have a lot of support, you know. Absolutely, man. Mm-hmm. So I'm very happy for that. I mean, everybody can attest, dude. Even the people, you know, and yeah, Andrew's Andrew's kind of been in that place too once yeah. before, and it um, sucks. Yeah, you feel yeah, so it does. Long. It sucks for you I mean, guys. I could, kind of drinking, but. I could only imagine, <laughs> you know, like I, I can't really relate because I haven't felt it. But as from from a, a best friend standpoint, best friend standpoint, like you can kind of see it. It's like I know they don't want to be like this, but uh-huh. like it's their life kind of deal. Like yeah. how much do I get involved? Like, do they want me to be like, yo dude, like get the, get your shit together. Or do uh. they want to like, you know, Hey, I'm fine. Like, but as long as you have control, it's fine, man. Uh. It's no big deal. Yeah. Definitely. Honestly, you know, but it's then anything moderation. But yeah. Key. Yeah. But then, yeah, there's just a, there's like a certain personality trait that kind of makes that hard to like, you know, um, keep it at that. But you guys are, doing fine man yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing a lot better yeah, yeah, Again, yeah. shout outs yeah. to you uh Thank shout you. outs to a lot of people out there who absolutely are, man. i mean I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there still you know suffering <clears throat> i definitely drink more than more most people but nothing compared to a well, year ago to, yeah. like right. it was crazy like these were 40s yeah and i would drink two no definitely in the morning. That's right same. away you know what same. i'm saying yeah and no. it's the cheapest way it yeah. has the most alcohol and i just again and it comes with with life situation. I was broke. I had yeah. no job. Um, I, I have a son who I couldn't see because I had no job. I, I was just drunk because that. I didn't have a job. Everything was just like I just want to drink because I have nothing else to do exactly. while I was waiting for something Dude. else to do. You know, I was, but I was still going to interviews. I was still trying to get jobs. Yeah. But in the meantime, 
you're, you're just, just waiting, dude. Yeah. And that's for me was the worst part. A lot of people. There's nothing to do. Yeah, you right. gotta you gotta do something. So yeah. I played kendama. Uh, I smoked weed, but because I didn't have money, yeah, I had to use whatever I could to just like I just don't want to be here. Yeah. I just don't want to be here in in me. Yeah. So I'm gonna get fucking hammered. Yeah. yeah. Every single day. Definitely. Not. And but then you don't realize it's every day. You just for me it. I just didn't want to feel anything. Yeah. So I just wanted that to always happen. So then days I'm like, oh, I passed out. I blacked the fuck out. Yeah. It's three in the morning. <clears throat> My whole day's gone. But it turns out I was doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people tell me stories like, yeah, dude, you fucking were just walking around the pool. <laughs> like, and then you just, <laughs> and you just went home. <laughs> yeah, like, and like, it's been worse. I've done horrible things when I was yeah. blacked out. But those were like super scary things, you know? Like when you, when you hear about stories, you're mm. like, dude, I could have got hurt. Yeah. really fucking bad so new like, year's 2016 sh- <laughs> Dude, <fucked. laughs> yeah but you know shout outs to you man for getting your shit together thank you <clears throat> shout outs to yeah no for real man everyone out there and for, for anybody that's listening that's currently going through some shit uh you know you, you got to realize you got more control than you than you think oh yeah a lot stronger than you lot think stronger. man um, everybody can change, dude, under the right circumstances, you know. So I'm glad that we're all progressing. That's all that matters. As long oh, as we yeah. keep moving forward, life is good, bro. Yeah. One step, keep one keep step. learning from our mistakes. People that dwell on the past, gotta let that shit go. Past, don't let it sculpt you, man. Yeah, you can be whoever the fuck you want to be, dog. Straight up, you can change everything. I've I've been through it. I think everybody here has kind of been through that extreme like shift in perspective. Yeah. Exactly. I think we can all agree on that. Exactly. And I think a lot of us here directly is just, for me, it was psychedelics as well. Uh, yep. Un- undoubtedly, dude. It changed every it, way that I thought about it. Same here, natives. dude. Like, honestly, I would not be here because, like, the way I was thinking before that, I was just, like, it was narrow as fuck, dude. Like, seriously, like, the most, like unsure i've ever been in my entire life dude mm-hmm. and i it's was just like almost <clears throat> i was just so set on a on a thing where like i wasn't gonna be here anymore you feel me yeah and then that it. just went boom like nope yeah man nope. like and then why? i was just like Instantly. exactly <clears throat> like, like it yeah. just it just like like before i didn't care like i was on a i don't care if i live or die you right. know what i'm saying Straight well, up, and, like, and you were in like a position medically where that was like a that could have been a, a very real thing yeah you know what i mean you and know? you know what i mean i just you know what i mean like i just yeah i just strive to get out of yeah. what i'm in you feel me that's yep. all I'm, you know what it, I mean? it, it, got, it got at s- first i didn't really want to because like i've never been that dude kind of like i want to you know what i mean i was Same. just like i don't want to fucking i don't know i just feel weird you know what i mean yep. people helping me and shit and like and like uh it's just it's just all too real mm-hmm. yep it gets real. Like, yeah i i attest to oh. not necessarily psychedelics but everything that happened prior and post was a lot of realizing that humans, that what they are truly, like what I am, down to like cellular, to what I believe, to what what might possibly happen when I die, and to enjoy what's happening now. Yes. And also realizing that there's so much worse that could be happening at every single mm-hmm. second. Dude, we could be born in one of the worst countries at all time and in the utmost poverty. And yet we're over here fucking podcasting. Right? Yeah. yeah. Fuck we can yeah. go down and get some pizza right now, vegan for this fool, and just smoke a blunt. Yeah. Like, oh, it, yeah. I just started to appreciate the small things. Then I realized those are the best things. Yeah. But, like, that was it. Like, kicking it with my homie, making stupid songs and, and, and recording ourselves talking. Like, these <laughs> are what bring me literally the almost utmost... Yeah, man. Enjoy my life besides my son and performing. And yet this is this can happen on a daily basis. But people yeah. forget because of cell phones and yeah. you know, Facebook. They're busy. People got jobs. But this is awesome that we get to do this. We get yeah. to have a yeah. real conversation. Again. Fuck yeah. yeah dude. I, I know it sounds cheesy, dude. But like this kind of stuff right here, man. Like I'm not saying I have no purpose. That's a stupid thing to say. It's just Sorry. like things like this like make me feel like. You know, even even if I were like to die tonight or whatever, there'd be a lot of things that you could look back on that I've been a part of that I'm yeah. like mm-hmm. not. And I didn't do it out of the fact that I want to be remembered, quote unquote. I did. But like, <laughs> <laughs> but I just love doing this shit, man. And like, if we're going to do this, might as well let everybody hear it. You know, like yeah. if, even if it touches one person, two people, you know, just listening wherever, mm-hmm. wherever we got like. 14 listens in Mexico City. What? what? On, on our sound Are you serious? That's yeah, awesome. dude, we, we got listens from like seven different countries. It's very weird. What the <laughs> fuck? That's oh pretty God. sick. Yeah, the SoundCloud uh, Pro analytics thing is yeah. fucking dope, dude. Oh my God. So, but anyways, um, yeah, man, this is just a, and it's just a, like a bonus, you know, after I'm gone. 
people will be able to be like, what was Bubba like, right? And they'll yeah. be able to look Fuck back yeah. on shit That's like why this. I love the channel. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's just like sitting with you hours on hours on hours, just yes. sitting there getting fucked up with my friends. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then awesome. you're your most true. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're candid and you're yeah, exactly. a little, you're a little intoxicated. Yeah. And you're having a conversation. Exactly. Hey. And that's, that's literally when you're the utmost, for me, true. Like, when I'm sober and I'm serious and I'm talking to like someone's father or, or like a president of the United States, you know, that's different. Fuck but when, the president. But, <laughs> but if I, Straight but if up, I have fuck a, Trump. If I have a beer and I'm talking to just someone, that's when I'm like, Psh. man, I'll tell you like, about my dreams. I'll tell you what I liked when I was in fifth grade. <laughs> yeah. Like, just like, just, there's something that comes with having a beer with someone or just smoking a joint and just like, hey, in third grade. It's like, break, <laughs> it almost like breaks down. Yeah, a, I really love white girls. Of like Express, armor you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, you kind of. You want to Have connect with somebody, be like, yo, yo, that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Similar shit. That's what you I'm going to, I'm going to shift gears right now because we kind of did this, um, in a previous episode, like a little bit, but this, this is so like different for everybody that I'm going to ask this question again. Good. Cause I know that we are both all definitely lovers of food. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, what, uh, what, when you were at your like most broke poorest, right? Mm hmm. What was your like go to snack? Like or a, name off a couple, bro. Like when you couldn't fucking buy what you normally buy at the be grocery homeless, store. I used to rip off Pizza Hut. How how would you do that? All right, so what I would do is I'd go at night, right? And I'd, f- I'd go on <laughs> the garbage and I'd find a receipt for a takeout order. Mm-hmm. I call the next day. But how did you find it? Like in your in your apartment or What do you mean? No, like, outside of the Pizza Hut. Outside man. of the Pizza Hut. Oh, okay. I was homeless, so I walked to a Pizza Hut, found the garbage, right? We find a uh, receipt for a takeout order. I, uh, I, this would be like towards the end of the day. Call back the next day and be like, "Yeah, I ordered a pizza for takeout, and you guys fucked it up, basically." And then they put patch you through the manager, and then they're like, "You have a receipt?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, okay, bring it in. We'll fix that order. Hey, they used to do that shit. All quick, the quick, <laughs> quick life hack. Quick life quick hack. Dude, life that's hack. a genius, man. Okay, so that's that like I'm gonna use that. sometimes you get like three pizzas. Yeah, we <laughs> replace the whole fucking order. So that's, that's that's not quite what I, I was to, talking I about. I try to aim for wings. But no, I appreciate exactly what I, I appreciate your um creativity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take it a step further, okay? Okay. Say okay. that you have a home. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, or a box. <laughs> or say a that box. you have. A home. <laughs> let's say you so, have a when home. You said you when you're at your brokest. Yeah, so that's, that's what I was. I should have. I should have set the. I should have set the floor. I should have set the floor. Okay, so. Okay, you're housed. Um, you've got you're like housed. you don't have much in your pantry, or whatever. Or maybe you got <laughs> five bucks to spend at fries. What do you go hey. buy, man? Uh, tortillas and honey. Honey? It's so close to what I'm about to say. Really? Okay. Anything else? What? What else, man? Um, cottage cheese and el pato sauce. What Shit. the fuck's el pato sauce? You're fucking sauce? disgusting. Dude, eat fucking el pato sauce with cottage cheese. No. I swear to fucking god. I swear to God, good, it is dude. sex. I don't like cottage cheese. It period. is fucking Me sex. Either. I'm, People I'm that don't picky, like though. cottage cheese eat it with el pato sauce, and it's fucking incredible. What's el pato? Is that hot sauce? It's like, we, that, yeah. it's like that yellow no. can. Alternative facts. It's that yellow can with a duck on it. Yeah. Yeah, you know el pato's I'm fucking flame. It's dude. flame, yes. Oh, Fire. anything. Their chipotle shit is the yeah. best. I'm a baby dude. boy. The people on the podcast are going to fucking learn this very soon, but... I can't handle shit. I what? get Dude, like, I'm going to start sweating probably. bitch. Like, I just have a very sensitive tongue uh, to fucking hot stuff. To where I'm like, oh my God, like, I he, can't fucking talk. He doesn't even eat really? pussy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I can't that's, even That's eat. hot, too. You said it's spicy. Even, I can't even eat ass, bro. I'm fucked. So, oh have you ever had a ghost God. pepper? No. I, Hell like, no. This dude would fucking implode. <laughs> I literally would fucking die. I, all right, check this out. This is, this is how bitch I am. I can't eat a hot and spicy without going... God Are damn. you fucking kidding me? No, dude. My mouth wow, is dude. sensitive. It's fu- and it's, again, it's because I didn't eat hot sauce it's when I was a child. A, and you know I don't how know you get over that? You just either, keep though. eating hot, hot shit. Dude. No, but I, lo- I love hot wings. And I'll, what the I'll fuck? fucking cry. Like, yeah. oh my God, like it burns so bad, but it's good. It's but that's good, the only yeah. thing I can eat. Has anyone ever fucked with dude, you? Dude, I want to like, go, I wanna go get wings with you now. No, but the rest... The restaurants have um, no. It's fucked. I want to um, see this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll live stream um because we were thinking oh. about doing the hot wings challenge. Yeah. And I cannot do What's it. What's the hot wings challenge? Dude, you never seen hot wings? That's the hot, hot one. ones. It's brilliant. Huh. I, I we're gonna end up bringing this up every episode. It's okay. We love. It's our favorite <laughs> TV show on net, YouTube right now. At least like he just showed it to me, and I'm fucking obsessed with it. And they just get ten wings. Oh shit. Varying from it's okay. Varying from the 
like tapatio or no sriracha to uh, make a death sauce mm-hmm. uh, with liquid rage. And liquid rage. Yeah. I and like that. it's just she said. beyond hot. Like they get celebrities to come on and fucking talk and shit like that. And it's just people can't do it. People well, quit. He didn't even explain what happens, dude. They you have to eat hot wings. They have 10 wings. Ten and wings. every time they eat a wing, it goes up in spice. Yeah. So they have no, no you didn't. Man. I you said it goes from tapa to you to fucking make the death sauce with yeah. liquid rage. But you didn't go <laughs> That's like exactly well, right. yeah <laughs> with liquid rage, dude. <laughs> it's hotter. Know. Trademark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, keep going. Okay, but yeah, so he can't handle hot shit. I don't even know what I was talking about, dude. No, you're talking about hot ones. Just describe hot ones real fast. I think I oh, okay yeah. So they have celebrities and stuff that come on there and like <laughs> they do that and they interview them, but like as soon as they get done eating the hot wing. And like they're still chewing it, he starts in, like asking the interview questions, and they can like they can't yeah. handle it. You know what I mean? And it's the funniest shit ever. Do people start sweating? Some people like throw up and shit dude, themselves. Like, what? Let me dude, it's fucking I hilarious. I Bobby what's Lee shit himself. Yeah, Bobby Lee shit himself <laughs> on that watch. show, dude. Okay, okay. but I yeah, tell you guys a quick story. What's yes. Up? Uh, so story, I was at uh, work one day. Got off. Went co- uh, the can native. Can you put the mic? Put native. Put it in like, just m- put. Yeah, grab it up, and then move it this way. Yeah, just there. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I went to uh, Native with some coworkers oh, yeah. one time, right? I was sitting at the bar and I bought wings, and they're like at the ghost pepper ones, right? No. They have ghost, ghost peppers. Yeah. Oh, ghost pepper. Dude, my stomach hurts just looking like, about it. And uh, I was like, okay, fuck it, I'll try it. So this dude sitting at the bar is all drunk, guy. Right? He's like, look, man. He's like, if you eat all of those without taking a drink, he's like, I'll buy you two big fucking mugs and I'll buy you two shots. What? Jesus. And I was like, yo, fucking game <laughs> on, son. <laughs> So I Game fucking on. dude. So they bring it out. I just can smell like the yeah. fucking, fucking heat. fire. It makes your fucking eyes start yeah, sweating and immediately. Like, okay. yeah. So I, I just was like, fuck it. Started just bum, 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 just rip off the meat real quick. I put this shit on my tongue and <laughs> instantly, immediately, it just my whole face. And I was like, it's instant. Oh my god, dude. And yeah, then dude. Like, I was, I was like, fuck it. I'm not gonna give up. I, you did I this got time. through like wings. I got through like three of them maybe. <laughs> and then like I literally was getting. I felt like I was hallucinating. Dog, like, yeah, dude. My, like, I was so lightheaded and dizzy, and my body was all vibrating. I thought I was literally gonna pass out. <laughs> and I, I fucking, motherfucker, I finished the wings. Yeah! And I got drunk as shit, dude. Dude, that is Icarus. awesome. USA! USA! Icarus! Icarus! <laughs> no, that's tight, dude. That's Fuck tight. yeah. Um, no, man, that ghost pepper, aka Boot Jalokia. Um, that's super fucking hot, man. Mm. I, I, yeah, I, I had some hot was, sauce. Very with that. It's I time. love hot shit. But yeah, no <laughs> people. People say that um shit that gets that hot, like they it does actually have hallucinogenic effects, dude. If it's so intense, it was crazy, what? bro. I'm probably gonna fucking DMT I, trip if I get to like, because <laughs> dude, again, I can't, absolutely can't eat tapatio. Uh-huh. Like that what? is what too <laughs> tapatio. <laughs> it's, it's, too fucking hot for you me. Like sriracha. That's funny. I haven't even tried it, but it smells too hot. Yeah, this yes, motherfucker. Dude. Again, well, I don't I, think I can get past the second wing, and this fucker wants me to do the challenge. You're but, doing the challenge, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, he's doing it. Yeah, but again, but I'm I, gonna I did, fucking. Uh, <laughs> I did. I did the. I'm, uh, like pass that. I'm gonna fucking throw up. For dude, sure. can I be there I, when this sure. happens? Oh, for I, sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, we'll you. film in front of a live audience. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, no. Um, no, but dude, I did the Buffalo Wild Wings one. Like yeah. a fucking mm. boss, dude. I'm gonna have oh, to yeah. train. Joel Gonzalez, little bitch. Shout out Joel. Um, was telling me I couldn't do it, and I was like, "You don't fucking know me, dude." Yeah, you don't and know me. And he was God. like, "If if you do it, I'll buy it." And I was like, "Okay." But I love hot shit, man. Like, um, there's a such thing as too hot, obviously, but it wasn't nothing. Have dude. you guys yeah. ever gone to Killed the Kick Ass Hot Sauce oh, Factory? Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. No. I'm and it's out here. Do you like hot sauce for real? For real? I love hot sauce, dude. dude you got stop on the way back. Way it's literally right down the street. It's a mile away from here, dude. Oh, it's Sunday though. They're closed. Yep. Oh shit. It's a it's a hot sauce Savage. factory, but like in their store, they sell like mislabeled products for like half price. Just like if the label's a little off, or like mm. you're getting a word or some shit. It's hey, all. Do they got Frank's Red Hot in there. No man, oh, it's okay. kick-ass. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's all kick-ass they got kick-ass products. Kick-ass red hot. No, I'm just kidding. I just that's I love that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, but for real though, on Mexican food though, the kick-ass um, habanero is the best shit I've ever had on Mexican food. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna spark this blunt. Um, again, shout out to uh, Nirvana Center, and shout out to Phoenix Relief Center for the God's given and right herbage. to me 
and all of us to consume this plant. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whatever whatever God means to you, that's exactly what it fucking means. This is for us right here. Exactly. So tell me some stuff you guys got going on, man. Yeah, I know you got cabbage. your you got your rap battles you've been doing. Um, lettuce. <laughs> I know Joe. Uh, it's okay, dude. Uh, I know Preston's got his rap battles going on. Um, I know that you got your streams constantly going on. Shout out to the stream right now. Um, I just want to know a little bit more. I'm just so busy, dude. Huh. Just working fucking raps rapping like a rapper that um, I haven't really been able to keep up with a lot of other people. So I, I know you invited me to the last uh, card that wasn't able to make that yeah. work, but I just want to know what you guys got coming up. Um, well, I'm trying to get a card together for like some like mid March. I'm still trying to work out. If you can get a Friday, dude, I 100% promise to be there. Okay. Cause yeah. I have Fridays off. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what we're th we're looking at this time. I know it's hard, but if again, if it's like Friday and even seven or eight, like after people get off of work, yeah, and stuff. Uh, it's gonna be at a prime cut and sell. It's like right next to the Nile, like oh, oh really? you know where it's at? It's like you know yeah, the, the Nile and that parking lot way back there. It's like across this. It's across the street from that. So okay. like we're looking towards mid March because everybody was just like I gotta cut like and sew. You said. Prime Cut and Sell, yeah, it's a barbershop. Is it on the corner? Yeah. Dude, no fucking way. Yeah. That This is fucking crazy. I was talking to someone about this yesterday, like, even through all the psychedelics and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I'm still very hard to go with the universe, you know, like, just cosmic energies and signals and things along the lines like that, vibrations and frequencies. Fucking hippie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is fucking scary, I'm like, yeah, dude. I'm interested. At, <laughs> in my show last night, I was uh, we were driving around trying to get there. We yeah. got lost. Yeah. And we fucking passed a barber shop. And I yeah. wrote it down in my phone. I was like, I'm gonna call them. That looks like a dope place to do a fucking show. Yeah. And that was the fucking place. Oh, dude, dude, you could, you could, if you want to do this no, th what you're talking about, like, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to ask them if they'd be down to do that. And yeah. it turns out you're fucking hosting a show there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. that's just fucking crazy. It's there, right? yeah, dude. And we're it's gonna like, do, uh, we're gonna do a video, dude. Like, I'm gonna bring my camera. Uh, oh you know, yeah. We'll see if I get fucking Bose GoPro. Like, we're gonna make this fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, dude, for sure. Dude. He works. But I just we'll gotta, make it. yeah, I just gotta set up a few more battles. Nothing too huge. Yeah, man. And a couple performers. Like last time, it was really awesome, and it was just me. Dude. I saw the video, man. It looked really fucking good, good dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the, I like the rap battle style shit. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But um, dude, I, I, me and Andrew have been trying to start this for a long time and we just been talking about it for a long time but like we want to start doing like uh old school like cypher style videos like yeah i'm gonna send we whatever you know andrew's been working with a few people that are really good at producing um as well as like their artist work like literal artistry uh but we would send a beat out shout out to Black everybody Boy. like a week prior eric rodriguez yeah, Asa and all them, right? Guild Boys. Or Guild Boys, is that right? Yeah, shout out Guild. Guild Boy. Yeah, it's really good. Fucking damn. Really, really good. And you don't even have to hit it that hard because I put the yeah. filter in it because I'm it's a fucking gentleman. Um, it's um, But yeah, so we probably like send the beat out <laughs> to everybody who wants to participate a week in advance so they can write, <clears throat> what, uh, 16? Yeah, 16. Yeah. I mean, eight if they're, because okay, I want no, let's four do 16. people. Okay, 16. 16. I yeah. want four people because that makes the most sense. How many do you got going on your battles? Like, uh, is there like, Three like this no, there's right. a grip. There's a grip, right? There's yeah, like twenty there fucking was, people. There Damn, was like that's a, a lot of fucking people. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. There was a okay for for the first one I set up. There was three. There were supposed to be four battles altogether. There were supposed to be four battles altogether. One got canceled, so that got replaced with the freestyle battle. Just one round. It was really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Spare the moment. This little dude named Elevate, fourteen years old. He stepped up to the plate. Yeah, I was like, what? Literally that day, cause he hit me up. He's like, dude, can I get on the card? I was just like. Let me hear you spit. Okay. Went to went to the park Damn. on the res and went shit. Went to the park. Little yeah, I went rabbit. up to him. And I saw, and I saw, because, oh, sorry. Because he was uh, my cousin's little homie and stuff. He's like, yo, he, he sent me this. And I was like, all right. Pretty good. So I go over there, and I, 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 yeah, he kicks me his rhymes and stuff. And I was like, that's pretty good. And I was like, all right. And I was like, um, it's like, I was like, this is strictly right, though. You feel me? Like, you can't freestyle. I mean, you could right. freestyle, you know what I mean, if you have to. But this is m mainly, I want to, like, you know what I mean? So he was just like, all right, cool. And then some shit happened. The main event, the main eventer couldn't 
couldn't come, so I was like, all right, fuck, I gotta like you switch fuck, around, dude. Hey, yeah, that happens, I fucking bro. yeah, I gotta fucking Artists, switch dude. everything. Yeah, I gotta switch fucking everything rappers. around. It's like it's hard to work with a lot of people. You know what I mean? It it's really, really is. Dude. You know what I mean? Trying to get everybody on the same page. So many people so yeah. don't give a fuck, man. Well, I've done yeah. it, dude. I'm guilty of it, and it's not even like I want to. It's just like, oh, dude. I don't want to fucking do this, but I can't come, man. Like, yeah. Something's come up. But then there's yeah. just artists who don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. But you find them out. You find them out two shows deep, and you're just like, I'm never going to fucking book you again. Because yeah. I, I used to help co-host a show, and it was impossible to get people. Because what I did was I tried to co-host a show to kind of do like, so say you're doing your, your show. Yeah. What I did was I came in, and I performed as an artist, and after I became an artist, I got invited to help open up with the people, introduce some of the MCs, and start recruiting like for people to come on. And by doing that, man, I was hoping, and I got it eventually, to start my own cipher like at the end of the show. Yeah. One o'clock in the morning, all the fucking MCs who are just griming, just starving artists that want showtime, I want them to fucking come on. And I, I got it done, but it was impossible to get people to show up, man, and to write. They just wanted to freestyle. Yeah, see, that's the worst. Drunk. That's the worst. See, that's that's exactly <laughs> like, like I met with all the battlers, and I'm just like, I just I had to explain to them. I was like, this is a battle. You can't like, I was like, you can freestyle if you want, but I'm I'm looking for the rights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. I, I think like, you need to set that precipice. The precipice. I just yeah. principle that you want to make sure that like, if you're gonna freestyle. We're not going to use it. Yeah, Because exactly. this is strictly going to be something that we post to get as much views as possible. Yeah. And I want this to be good. I'm not saying yours freestyle isn't, right. but I know you can write better. No, but <coughs> in reality, though, most people aren't, like, really, really good at freestyling. Like, people are pretty good. Some people, yeah. Like, my yeah. boy, like, I had confidence in everybody. That's why I asked them. I was like, if you would be interested. And then I met with all of them. And I was like, I kind of laid it down. A little right. bit, but like I think this time around, I could be way more better. You feel me? Like, yeah, way more, more better. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> way more better. I think you could, I think it'd be more better. <laughs> Anywho, no, uh, I, I like, feel it, man. Yeah, no, but and yeah. dude. Well, here's the cool thing, though. What's that? What's that? If you're not a fucking idiot, which you're not, you know what I mean. Thank you. Every Thank time you, you do it, every time you do it. Something is is not gonna go your way. Like, exactly. Right. Yeah. I I I understand that now because last time it was just an idea, like it was literally supposed to be one battle and it right. wasn't even supposed to be big. It was supposed to just be with like a cell phone and we're just gonna kick it and like you know what I mean. I right. just wanted to see it go down. That turned into like let's do it big and like, and then like you know what I mean like. I know people, so you know what I mean. Like I know, I know, know people. I know like, how to get some shit done. I was just like, yeah, let's fucking do it. Like if you know what I mean. But like, I don't want to be the only one doing it. I want input. You feel me? And you know what I mean. So like, but like everybody did great. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm fucking proud of everybody that fucking participated. Even the homies at like five twelve that helped me. Like I was supposed to get a PA, but I didn't get it. And fucking, I was like, fuck. And then they're yeah. like, yo, like. They're like, this one's pretty shitty, but yeah, we'll fucking... You know what I mean? They, right. they helped me out in a big way, you know what I'm saying? Who but this? even the... Go ahead. Wait, who? Who helped you out? Oh, uh, the homies at Apartment 512. Apartment 512? Yeah, they, that's like where they... Uh, but it, it, honestly, though, man, shows. like the video, you know, it's it, it's a live event, so... It's hard to record live, dude. Yeah. So the audio quality can only be as good as it, it can be right but dude yeah. the video though it was fine like yeah. you could really i was hear. so nervous dude I was yeah so, like on top of that trying to like a lot of the, the times were kind of messed up so i was just like running on time and like a lot of people were kind of like right. like everybody's just tense and agitated and i was just like i just want to do this shit yeah like, i just like fucking like so i started off with the cypher boom everybody was getting down and, and getting into it and shit and i was like that's fucking dope you know what i mean and then I was like, all right, first battle, let's do this. First right. battle was fucking sick. Second battle was fucking sick. Third battle was fucking dope. Good, performances man. were fucking fire, dude. You know what I mean? Good. Like, you had performances as yeah, well? Yeah, uh, Elijah Young and fucking Dem Natives. Like, two you, of the people out of Dem Natives were fucking, yeah. for a minute now. They've been fucking, yeah, yeah fucking Elijah's fucking <laughs> fire, dude. Yeah. He's fucking, he's awesome. Oh, sorry. But, uh, but, yeah, but what I was getting at, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. No, what I was getting at, though. Is uh, every time you you put one of these events together, something's gonna go wrong. But you you make sure that you learn, <laughs> dude. I swear to God, I'm so fucking high. As soon as I said you that many times, I started thinking about that fucking kid. 
Yeah. You, if you will, you can, if, if you will, oh, yeah. if you will. <laughs> the turtle kid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one he's all, uh, if you, he's all stuttering and shit. <laughs> God damn. But anyways, you learn from it. And like, you don't do that shit next time. And you just get better and better, dude. Just keep doing them. If they're never going to be perfect until yeah. you do like a hundred of them if you have to. You know? Until until I come up on but, this uh, bitch, dude, and we knock this out. Right. Dude, right. You, you literally have the building ground to what I would have been searching for. Yeah. Someone that can hire local acts to really come together. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's five people and they bring one to two people each, that's enough for a cypher. That's enough yep. for a battle. And that's enough for one of the dopest underground Arizona hip-hop yep. videos, which it needs. And there's... Well, yeah, Go ahead. and there's gonna be like plenty of places to do it too. Like, there's plenty do of places it. that will be down. Yeah, I'm, what I just saw was like a lot of people in my community are fucking they're beasts at what they do. Straight up, they're mm-hmm. fucking they're thriving artists. And I was like, let's do this. Like, everybody was down. They're like, this fucking promotes all of us. Like, they can promote their music, everything. You know what w- I mean? W- when can we expect a uh, Icarus mixtape, dude? Dude, for real. I'm just kidding. Got my shit ran down. The world just ain't ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like that's but, what it, like, like but it was. It's it's just awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, it's fucking just, awesome. Like, it's dope as fuck. And man. then people performing. They like got to perform and they're like, this is dope. This is and people like for the next one I want like because m- most of the people that were doing it they they're like graffiti writers and shit. You know what I mean? So like, really? So was, yeah. So Yo. Like literally, almost Bobby. everybody on the card was a graffiti writer. Like, and yeah. they're fucking they're flame, dude. And they're Dog. Fucking, like, you know I was what just we like, need to fucking do? I wanted do? to showcase their like art and shit, like during the battles and shit, or do something. You know what I mean? Like, have a little setup, like do little pieces and shit. It'd be sick, shit. dude. It'd be really easy to put together too if you have people that are committed. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's what a, I just oh. gotta fucking <laughs> start just being a gangster. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Do> you, <laughs> hey, you fucking want a piece of this? You, you fucking hey, asshole. We got a saying where I'm from. <laughs> we'll walk <laughs> it in. <laughs> Hey, um, do you have any side projects? Shout out, Rick and or like, I, I know you're still doing your YouTube channel, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know you've been more active lately, right? Yeah, for the most part. I've yeah. been trying to do, well, the intoxication conversation is pretty much what's been going on. I yeah. have, like, I'm trying to get more into what the people love, which right. is my trip reports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted it, but lately I've just been working on myself so much, I haven't even yeah. done any cycle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now. But that's great. But, so, but your fans will understand that because. Yeah. They've all done psychedelics. That's right. <laughs> and they understand things usually. I've been yeah, for six months, hey, dude. Th- there's a filter in that, I'm so it's probably say, done real soon. I am happy to say I'm going to be embarking on a mushroom journey very, 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 very soon. That's awesome. So, um, That's great, man. pretty excited for that. Yep. Just, uh, you know, I don't got to tell you, but anyone listening, set and setting. If you're not comfortable with those things, they're the most important thing you could ever fucking Definitely. take into consideration. So if this influences you in any way, read up on it, do your research, be safe. Um, well, have a nice trip. Yeah, yep. yeah, do it. If you're going to do it, have your best homie ever that's not fucking annoying. Oh, Hang out. shit. Whoa. See? That's me. <laughs> that's uh, me. <laughs> that accuse me. No, but uh, yeah, man. I'm really excited for everybody, dude. Everybody's doing something. You know, that makes me so happy. You know, it, it, I I, I'm not trying to talk down on anybody that's not doing anything. I am. <laughs> no. Yes. You fucking yes. lazy shit. But um, I really do think Love that it. everybody Hungry. can do something. You know, like figure out what you'd like to do and then Be good at that. really do that shit. It feels good to like do what you want to do. I want to do this podcast. I want it to sound good. And it does. And it does. Sounds amazing. And we're getting great reviews. And I feel good about it. Great you know? reviews. And it's it's way easier to invite people over and have them, you know, if, I mean, everyone's homies that I've pretty much invited on the podcast so far, but, you know, it's not in a kitchen anymore. Yeah. With one mic in the middle of the table. Like, if I wanted to invite a stranger here that was, like, really unique and, like, cool, hey, let's come hang out. This doesn't look like a fucking sketchy ass, like... Oh, like oh, I came over for this. Yeah. Like, okay. this is a podcast like, studio. Yeah, this is yeah. amazing. I but, love uh, it. But I'm really happy with the, with the way it's turning out. Um, we tried to hang up the fucking uh, the last Airbender fucking elements, but yeah, but not successful. We'll do it next next year. We'll we'll do it before yeah before next episode for sure. But uh, it's coming together, man. Got a couple things I got to do still, but we remembered to it. close the doors this time. Yeah. Big. Big, big difference. Uh, yeah. Well, um, up. shout outs, uh, to the exact opposite though. <laughs> um, I just want, I just want people to know that like, 
I was in a I was in a weird place, just like you said that you were. Mm-hmm. You want to call it a dark place, and I was so com- complacent and so comfortable with just sitting around, laying around, going to bed, waking up, going to bed, going to bed, waking up, and that's cool. Like that's that's fine. And if you're if you're in a shitty job or if you you're in a weird relationship or you're just getting out of one, like that's completely understandable. Like that you, you need some morning time. Yeah. But there's a lot of people out there, man, who are just com- complacent with what they're doing and you know they don't have a hobby or yeah. they don't have a book that they like or a podcast they listen to or, or a band they want to go see live and it's weird yeah. and for me it's very weird and i'm i'm one of the most again tolerant people of people who are drunk ignorant high as shit tripping balls but i'm not very tolerant towards people that aren't doing shit <laughs> like if you just go to work that's what you do yeah. i just have a very hard time hanging around because then we just don't have anything to talk about, man. Right, mm-hmm. right. And, and, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying you're a bad person. I just want this to influence people. Like, I'm a piece of shit, dude. Yeah. I get drunk all the time. I I go to my job, but, you know, I, I don't really do anything spectacular. And yet, I'm still fucking performing. I'm still out here writing. Yeah. You guys are still doing your fucking thing. And yet, there's a lot of people out there with more who aren't doing shit. But so it, it, I just want to hopefully inspire them to stop being fucking lazy. But here's yeah. the thing, though. Like, a lot of people are happy with not doing shit. But I don't, true, want, I don't want them to be. I know. I, don't I know. And it's hard to it's hard to sit back and look at I just someone, like, could, like, not move in life. They could probably be yeah. good dancers or something, But you know? But <laughs> if they're happy, dude, I, if there's anything that I can preach, I'm, I'm a fucking asshole still, too. I got contradictory opinions about some things. Whatever, dude. That's true. But I'm happy, bro. And yeah. if you think what I'm doing in life is has any problem or negative effect on you and you have a problem with me, you, I don't give a fuck. Uh-huh. We can uh-huh. fight or whatever you want to do. I don't want to fight. But like, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. If if you're happy, it's hard to change. I'm not saying you need to change. I just I just feel like there's a lot of people out there that need to hear that. Yeah. There's a lot of people, because that's what I heard. But if and you, that's what inspired me. It's like, yeah. dude, like Joey was just like, dude. Why? Because why you, aren't you doing that shit? Because you have it in you, Drew. I know. Yeah. Because Drew you're just creative. Got all the fucking steez, I know, you know, but creative. I want I want people to, Some, to, to. A lot of people that aren't creative. I know people who don't even like music that much. I know. They told Ooh. me. Yeah. I don't like music that. I'm like, what the fuck do you do? Music. We need yeah. those dudes to make microscopes and shit, though. Yeah, that's true. No, See? they're doing no. shit. Dude, that's you know all who their told focus me that? is on. Laura Logue. Laura Logue, but she's skating. And like influencing young girls to be proactive with their lives. Sure, but she doesn't like music that much. She loves music. She's dumb. She's gone to more shows than I have. She worked for a radio fucking show. She's. That's what she told me, man. Okay, man. She means she was drunk or high. That's so dumb. That is so (laughs) fucking dumb. Oh shit! Look at these. Oh man. This young couple. It's almost. It's almost time. Is this uh? Is this the official? (laughs) Is this the official melding? Huh? Yeah, of, of Icarus and P Fresh. Y'all become one. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> 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 That'd be some shit. That'd be crazy, dude. All right, cray, so cray. we're getting near the end of the end of this shit. Um, let's get some plugs. Let's get some uh, events, things you know, streams or whatever dates you got. Because you know, you got your trip reports, you got your things going, your cards. Yeah. What's going on, you guys? Plug up your Instagram and everything. Uh, yeah, Instagram Icarus Boydo, YouTube channels Icarus Boydo. Just talk about psychedelic drugs. Do you spell you out four eight zero or is it? It's F O U R E I G H T O H. Okay. Okay, so four eight zero O H. Yeah. Okay. O-H. Okay. That's me. Any, anything coming up? Anything? You're dropping a video soon, you I'll think? Be dropping, I'm, I have ideas. I just need okay. to have the time. You okay. know what I mean? I was just always procrastinating. No, so. I got you, man. Yeah, hey, I'm the king of it, you know? But no, definitely a lot more is going to be coming out. I'm going to be doing a lot more than I have been doing. Good. Good, yeah. Get, like, the thing about it is, like, I, I went, like, three months without doing shit with anything with it. And I realized, like, I went up, like, fucking, like, 15,000 subscribers. Jesus like, fucking like, Christ. For, like, yeah, just like a crazy number. Like that's what's up, man. The fuck, like yeah. how I kept going and like producing more content. Mm-hmm. You know, like how much further it would be. Yeah, but but, but you gotta. But it's a, get it's centered. motivating me. You know gotta what I mean? Centered, like, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, we're, we're yeah. To, he'd be back. He'd be we're back. We're trying to do like a uh, a live DMT trip for him right now. Like, <laughs> oh my Jesus. god. But like, fuck. Be crazy. Like professionally done. You Didn't you do that already? I did one before. Because I've seen that. That's how I met you. and hated video. He wants to do it crispy though, like the crispy view. You know. What yeah, I'm saying? Like, like not with crazy fucking yeah. lights. 
Well, I don't know. Well, no, the lights got to stay. Yeah, exactly. What do you think I, I, I don't want to do the lights. No, oh, okay. you're not going to do the lights. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's okay. like when it bounces over your eyes, like you could see, like it's, it's just like kind of red. Functions. It's not distracting. colorful. Yeah, it's just it's like very distracting. What the? Mm-hmm. Am I going to sh- murder? Not murder, but uh-huh. I don't know if if that because I'm envisioning it. I'm like. That must have been fucking hard, dude. Because it's mm, mm, red, yeah. red, no, red, I mean, at, red. At, at a certain point, like and your I just eyes like, are kinda, closed. I just remember putting my face down, covering my eyes, and then I yeah. just kind of drifted off. And then I think because of the music, I just kept like moving around and shit. Maybe, I think maybe I'm gonna use music with... next time because I did it not, and it fucking d- destroyed me. Yeah. <laughs> I say maybe don't do any music at any lights. See, I tried dark. I have to have something playing. That is the thing. <sighs> Because the vibration fucks oh, with me, dude. Oh, dude, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It I've scares tried, me, I do, and it I, sucks. I tried putting on like those fu- like, fucking earmuffs and fucking like blindfold. Depressurizers. Completely, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> complete silent that darkness makes it worse. And, dude, yeah, I took one hit of the DMT with that, but with dude, and the next you know, just the, I couldn't take it. It was like <laughs> the most deafening silence I've ever heard and in it's, my life. Yeah, dude, for me, it sounds like I'm going deaf. Yeah. It sounds like I'm dying. Yeah. It sounds like I'm dying. And I want it to be beautiful and spiritual, and it yeah. is. But the first time, I'm like, oh, my God, here it is. <laughs> and then I can't hear anything. I Close. can't hear anything, and then I can't feel my body because people don't know that when you can't hear, when you're deaf, you don't have a lot of fucking perception of this. So your senses uh-huh. are all skewed. So instantly, you have that disbody, like your completely outer body experience. Yeah. And for me, the like three times that I've done it, Outer body. Outer body, inner body, inside of my inner, outer dimensional experience. (laughs) Um, Inner dimensional, however you want to explain it. Um, Each time, again, that vibration sound is what just haunts me. And then it turns awesome. But it's always just like, fuck, here they come. So you never listen to music with it? (laughs) Here they come. Yeah, yeah, the fucking aliens, dude. Here they come. They're going to (laughs) come talk to me, looking like me, or the Simpsons. Uh Every time I've done it, everyone looks like the Simpsons. You know their eyes? The the white eyes like that? Everyone gets those eyes, but they have three. It's trippy. It's fucking trippy. Like... Yeah. So like they're beings, they're beings of just like, you know, a silhouette of a person. Mm-hmm. And what they're doing is like the first time I tripped was fucking nuts. I'm on a couch. All right. And I'm with my guy and he's my favorite guy ever. And he's helping me from my first experience because I, I've never done it before. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to light it. He doesn't really know how to light it. So I've asked him just out of pure trust that I, 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 I am going to allow you to help me do this. Yeah. Because I know this is going to be the most vulnerable any human can ever possibly be. Yeah. I could die. You, you could do anything to me yeah. at that time. And I couldn't do a fucking single thing. So he lights it and I take a hit mm-hmm. and instantly. As soon as I take the hit, I'm like, and once I'm down, <laughs> he's like, there's a bunch Love left. It. There's a bunch left. And I'm again, like I can't move my body, like, but I can hear them and I can nod. And so they just put the pipe to my mouth. And they keep fucking lighting. And I'm oh my inhaling one more time. And that's it. I can't take enough, I can't take any more. And when I let this shit out, dude, I open my fucking eyes. I don't know why. I, I like I felt myself going and losing myself into the void. And then I open my fucking eyes and my buddy, I look to him like this, and he's looking at me and he's like <laughs> And as he's looking at me, yes. a fucking slit opens like this. And then a Simpson eye, literally, like an exact eye. That's the only way to reference it. The exact fucking eye of Homer Simpson, Marge, Bart, opens in his fucking eye. Yeah. Him and my girlfriend are sitting across the room. Not only do their fucking eyes open, but now all the furniture that I'm sitting on, they're sitting on, and all the walls consist of fucking beings. And they all do like this. They all go like this. And I realize everything, I realize everything around me is a fucking person. And even the couch I'm sitting on is just people. And it's just like this. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Because again, I'm seeing my room. I'm seeing our living room and I know what it looks like. So I know I'm still here on earth. But my friend is now an alien and all the walls are just people just doing this. But they're just the wall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They look like the wall, but they have eyes now. And then it just hits like a Dr. fucking Strange movie. I go like this, and I look at my fucking hands, and I'm doing this. And in my mind, I'm like 
like the Watchmen, my my hand is exploding and incinerating like uh like a nuclear bomb went off wow. constantly and it's just Holy rebuilding shit. itself then blowing up then rebuilding itself and i'm going like this what the fuck is happening like <laughs> and i'm no but I, i'm still here and i'm just like what the fuck dude and then i stand up i stand up and i'm not here anymore i'm not in my kitchen but i am i'm just walking around and i'm just fucking in this room that is completely to me white but it turns out to be a white room and each one of the rooms has walls again and those fucking walls are people but now those people turn into like a screen like uh in adventure time when just uh -huh. like a fucking screen just pops up just like boop and they just start showing me the end of the world <laughs> like the world starts to fucking blow up like a goddamn volcano and like uh, San Andreas or San whatever the fuck where uh, there's earthquakes yeah. and the mm -hmm. fucking buildings are going off and I'm just seeing myself die and come back again and like what they're trying to explain to me they start to go from just me dying and it it goes from me dying to like their eyes right here you know saying like I'm seeing myself die and then boom there's eyes in front of me and they're looking at me and they're just not talking they're just trying to communicate with me telepathically or whatever they're doing yeah. and they're just saying you're going to die. You're going to die. But look at all this shit that's going to happen. Look at all this. Look at all this that's going to happen before that. And when you do die, you're just going to do it again. You're just going to keep doing it. I don't know if that's reincarnation or if it's just what your mind does on a loop, like a, 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 a insidious or not insidious. What's the movie? Inception mm -hmm. type shit. But they just started to show me like my life, then starting over, then dying, then starting over. It was fucking insane. And then slowly I just started to like come back to myself. Yeah. And rebuilding my body back up, and then boom, not tripping anymore, next to my buddy. And to them, I was doing other shit, but that's what I did in my fucking mind. That is fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird, man. And that's, but that's like what people would see as a bad one, but I loved it. It was so fucking fun, man. I could not believe it. <sighs> Holy shit. That's oh my god! Just the like first time the I smoked it, I kind of had the that? same thing happen, oh, but I like stood up and just like started walking around, which confused the shit out of me because I thought like I thought you couldn't do that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah I just stood up, started walking around, but everything was so all hyper dimensional, and like everything had trade, like the most wild, like so everything <laughs> looked like underwater, and like literally, like my friends were all out at the table and they were like watching me smoke. I was on the ground. Stood up and then I was looking at them. I was like, "What is going on, guys?" And then um, they're like, literally, they're like frozen in time. Like I was not seeing them move. You're and like the like, flash. Yeah, I was just like, "What the fuck?" And then I like sat back and I was like hearing all these voices and I was closing my eyes and see all these patterns and stuff. And then uh, it kind of like went down, but I, like I didn't essentially leave. And then uh, I was like, "What? That was fucking crazy." So then the next morning, I fucking just packed a shit ton and then, oh. Uh, just packed a shit ton and just boom. See, yeah, and that was what was fun. your first time? Like, what was your first breakthrough? Um, it was that next morning. Um, my girlfriend was asleep, or my ex girlfriend, uh, girlfriend at the time, Bitch. was asleep. Bitch, right? <laughs> huh? Can we say that? Uh, no, never mind. Yeah, well, I, I, I just want to support whatever. She, if you hate her, then we, I hate her too, dude. Yeah, no, I feel yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, nah, so she was asleep. I was like, woke up and I was like, fuck, like, I want to try to smoke this again. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to sandwich it between weed. And I'm just like, just dumped a shit ton of DMT in there. And then, um, yeah, smoked it. And when I hit it, like, I felt like I just literally saw, like, you know, the popcorn roof? Yeah. Like, it just, like, like, solid, like came out and, like, solidified. Whoa. And, like, everything got so sharp, right? And I, like, looked around. Everything, like, looked, like, 8-bit, like, Super Mario. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck? So I took <laughs> another hit. And then, like, every time I'd take, like, hold, like the longer I'd hold it in, like, the more these patterns along. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, along Ooh, the walls would grow. And I started to see, like, the flower life and stuff like that. And then, uh, so I, like, laid back. And then I took one more giant hit. And then uh, I just was hearing, I was listening to music. And, um, yeah, I just remember, like, looking at my ceiling, it looked like I was, like, floating towards it. And then, like, I just, like, when my face got to it, it just, like, opened up. Oh. Yeah, and then there was, like, a tunnel with a bright-ass light. And there was, like, all these eyes, like, surrounding it, like Alex Gray painting or something. Okay. Yeah, and, um. That's true. They're all blinking at me, and I was, like, going toward oh that light. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, when I hit that light, I was just entered, like, it was, like, literally, like, a rocket ship into this 
dimension and like everything was like spinning around me and there's like all this data and information like pumping around and like everything was like interchanging and like Whoa. there was like buildings that were like growing and like moving around <laughs> and I was like flying through this place dude and I was like I was not perceiving it like the perception was like all around like you know what I mean like it was like a 360 like view. virtual reality yeah view. exactly <laughs> and uh it was like what the fuck like a drone dude yeah and I was like freaking kind of started to like this is fucking crazy <laughs> you know what I mean? and uh no and then this voice just started talking to me in like a language that was not English but it was just like percept like I could just perceive it and understand it what did it, and say? it was just like calm down it's like it's okay just breathe Oh, you're good. Uh, um, <laughs> just okay. Calm down. Like, just breathe. Like, you're home. You're with us. Like, you're okay. Ooh. And then when that happened, everything just kind of, like, slowed down. And, like, I was just, like, one, bro. Like, completely plugged into the center of almighty peace and unity, bro. Like, I understood it all. It all made sense. Like, I knew everything. Uh, like, I... I knew the secrets of the universe and like everything was just there and I, I like and I was like it all made sense and then I came back and I was just com like like shot up and I like because I kind of understood and like when it started to come down like kind of like jolted up and uh, I was like that was fucking crazy <laughs> I was like oh my god and I realized I was like I was a fucking, I was, oh my God, like, how do you even explain that? But everything I learned and like, perceived was like gone. And the way, like, the way I like, or uh, the way I like to explain DMT is like, is if you go to a movie and you see the whole movie, every part of it, and you come out of the movie theater, but all you can remember is the trailer. And that's pretty much how. That's the perfect way to explain it. Uh, but yeah, that's the first time. That's fucking beautiful, man. That's, that's way up, better man. than mine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a, uh, it's there's a lot of new studies going into uh, all different kinds of psychedelics. DMT not yet, of course. Yeah, but um, it was like a major well, study with it before, well, legal, uh, current legal studies. Uh, well, there's a church that can legally use it as ayahuasca with, with ayahuasca, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, kind of do their own research then. Yeah, ayahuasca is fucking. Dude, medicine. this weed was really good. That amazing. Was amazing. That blunt was so delicious. Fuck Super yeah. high, man. <laughs> but uh, super high. It's about yeah. that time. Okay, again, find him, Mr. Icarus480, uh, on Instagram at Icarus480 with Ooh, an O-H. No, and then uh, P Fresh, tell us what you got going on, man. Uh, just mid-March, Genesis 2. Okay. So, yeah. And where, we can, where can we find you on uh, Instagram? Uh, P Fresh91. A mm, P Fresh a underscore? A no. Okay, just pre P yeah, Fresh91. Look at that boy. Me. <coughs> you can find me at TH3GuyCast. That's my Instagram and my Snapchat. Um, that's where I've been posting a lot of cool things like live videos. I've been posting the live streams here. <laughs> and I've been posting um, just like little snippets of my new songs that are coming out. And it's just where you can find the information the quickest. Um, but if you're just down to listen to my music and you don't give a fuck about my lifestyle, boy, hey. you can uh, find me at <laughs> SoundCloud, G-U-Y, V-3-R. And uh, I got some videos on YouTube uh, coming up soon, too. Yo, your shit's Shout sick, yo. Thank for you, real. Really fuck appreciate yeah. that. It was fucking, it was so awesome last night, dude. Oh, last night was so awesome. So fucking crazy. Yep, shout out to everybody that came out to shout, the shout, uh, shout, underground. Shout, shout. Everyone that came out before the show that helped out with the uh, little music video thing. But uh, yeah, so this has been Communication Breakdown episode 11. 11. Icarus, Foredo, and P Fresh. Yeah, you um, I've been your host, your motherfucking favorite white boy. <laughs> Sad Boy Shinobi. You find me on Instagram at Sad Boy Shinobi. YouTube, you're probably watching this on YouTube. So uh, if you yeah. if you like it, you want to keep up with our lives and stuff, subscribe. subscribe. Subscribe, please. Yeah, man. Subscribes. Because once once I get 100 subscribers, I think I'm gonna do something special, man. We're oh, don't yeah. we're gonna do something amazing once we get 100. And I know it's easy. Tell your friends, please share. A lot of things that help this is just liking and yeah. sharing subscribe like yeah. it's awesome i know you're gonna view the video but just do it before you leave before you watch fucking the cash me outside for the hundredth time just like share yes. subscribe and we'll see you guys later yeah uh it's been a pleasure as always it's your boy bye i love you guys <laughs>